Hello guys, JNM here with an update for FastCalf, my Blender add-on for hard surface modeling, and I added the feature for the 2.8 version to kind of paint in primitives. So let's see how this works, I snap the view, change to right auto graphic and then I press Ctrl, Shift and P to enter a so-called primitive mode. In this mode I can draw in lines like that, and the lines snap to the grid when you are in an auto graphic mode. Ok, this is my 2D shape, now I press enter, and the mesh is created, a plane, and now I can change to edit mode and for example extrude a mesh like this that I can use for boolean operations. Before I do this I press the button center origin and mirror, then fastcalf adds a mirror modifier that I change to the y axis, and then I use this object that I just created for a difference operation. And I think that's a quite useful extension to create primitives by just drawing them into the 3D view. You don't have to do this in autographic mode, you can change to perspective mode as well and draw the primitive. I also like to change to wireframe mode when I paint shapes so that I can see the grid through the object to that I want to apply the boolean. Then I extrude this again and use it as a cutter for my difference operation and when the normals are not facing outwards, the fast curve add-on takes care of this and recalculates the normals so that the boolean operation will not generate strange results like distorted geometry. Ok, now the python code, my favorite part. So what has changed? Well, still when we press the left mouse button, vertices are appended to a list. But once a vertex is added, there is a kind of temporary line that starts from the last vertex that is added to the mouse cursor that is stored in the variable mouse word. So you click to add a vertex, then the line is drawn, and each time you click, you add a new vertex, that is the new starting point of the line. In the method create batch, you can see how this is implemented. We copy the vertices that we already have to a new list. And if a mouse vertex is defined, then we just append it to the list and the last point always changes when we move the mouse. And this is what we actually paint using line strips. Ok, that's quite simple. Now let's have a look at the method that calculates the 3D position of the mouse cursor that could be snapped to the grid when we are in autographic view. Which is not that simple. First of all we have a magic number here of 2, this is the distance of the lines that we draw to the origin. I think I will turn this into a property that can be defined by the user. And after that I check if we are in autographic mode and then the vertices for the lines that are drawn are snapped to the grid. This is done in the method getSnap, in which I use the 3D overlay to calculate the grid size and then I use a modulo operation to get the next point to which we want to snap. And the result of this method I add to the current position of the cursor. And this allows to change the grid subdivisions and scale and the snapping for the line still works as before. Ok guys, that's the first, let's say, alpha version of this feature for version 0.7. And if you have ideas for new features or suggestions for improvement, please add these to the comments below. The link to FastCalf is added to the description. If you want to support me, consider being my patron. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next one.